Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome to this week's 3 Minute Thursday. Today I'm going to be talking about an awesome resource that you can use to build projects either on a personal level or for a professional project and that is using an API or an application programming interface. On a basic level, an API is basically a connection to an endpoint to get somebody else's data. Now APIs come in all shapes and sizes, some are free, some have a freemium tier and some are paid for. So what kind of things could you build with an API? You could use an API to find out the weather where you are or find out the weather where a user is. You can geolocate a user. You can use an API to play a hand of cards if you wanted to. You can use Google. Google have a ton of API endpoints, whether it be their maps, their places, uh, their autocomplete set um, for searching an address. You can build a GitHub clone. You could build a GIF search engine with the Giphy API. Again, the possibilities for what you can do with an API is endless. You just need to have a good idea, Google a little bit, and just start building. And if you're looking for some ideas of things to build with an API, then I've linked in the comments down below an awesome list on GitHub that you can take a look at. So here we have the list right here on GitHub. It's hosted by a guy called Todd Motto. I'm sure if you've Googled around, at least for some Angular help, I'm sure you've come across this website before. Um, basically, he's got an awesome list here, obviously, of public APIs. And obviously, he's really like kind. He's uh, indexed them all out by category, sort of like what different uh, fields of data that you could be bringing in, stuff like currency exchanges or cryptocurrency, uh, food and drink, health, jobs, machine learning. I'll look at food and drink. Let's see what APIs you've got in that field. You can see here in each category, it's got basically an API name, a description, what authorization you might need to use if you need to have an HTTPS connection to connect to it, and what cause issues you might have if you want to be connecting to the API and a link to the API. So if I open up the brewery DB, um, basically, so every API you're going to be looking at is a little bit different. This one I need to open an account with before I can look at the API. Um, I've got recipe puppy. Let's have a look at this one and see what this does. Okay, cool. So this one's brought me right here and it's even given me on this page a link to get some data. So if I open that up, let's see what that does. So that's basically just given me an object uh, with a title, a version, a link and results, which is an array of objects. Um, so I could call this very easily and quickly in either in jQuery or even in uh, vanilla JavaScript and bring that into my project and start working with the results and seeing, you know, what I can do with that data from Recipe Puppy. Um, but obviously, you know, there's just so many options here. There's so many things, uh, so many ideas that are put out there that you can really go and you can just, you know, look for an API and then build a project around that. So thanks for watching this 3 Minute Thursday. If you have any ideas for other videos in this kind of genre to make, then please leave me a comment down below. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching. And if you haven't done so already, then please go ahead and subscribe as well. Thanks a lot.